So uh, this catamaran came to us uh, from a, a German owner who's just bought the boat. Um, and on the survey, the surveyor uh, identified that there were a couple of very wet areas on the hull, namely this side and the other side on the interior. Um, this is a double skin, which means that you have a, a, an outer skin of fiberglass and an inner skin of fiberglass with about a 15 millimeter gap. And in that gap is um, bonded uh, balsa wood as a support, it's called a sandwich construction. Now, what's happened here is that at the factory when they built the boat, uh, well, probably 10 or 15 years ago, um, they've put the um, supports for the bowsprit bolted through here. Now that's gone through both layers, the outer skin and the inner skin, and exposed the balsa core. Because this is so close to the waterline, when the boat's at sea and sailing, the water is going over here all the time, and the water has actually seeped into here, into the balsa core, and what the surveyor picked up was that the balsa core is soaked with water for a, a, a very large area. So what we're going to do is, because the interior of the boat is, uh, these are both lockers, uh, sail lockers uh, for rope and, and that sort of thing, we can get access to them pretty easily and we're going to cut out the inner skin of the uh, uh, sandwich construction and then we're going to take out the old balsa, the damp balsa and the wet balsa, clean it all out and then we're going to put new balsa wood in and then re-laminate on with um, epoxy the old skin to, to put it back to its original state. In fact it will be better than the original state because it will be done with epoxy. These holes will be remade and they'll be lined with epoxy filler so that the, uh, any, any, any moisture that may get into the, uh, the, the, the fixing won't actually get into the bolster, it will just stay where it is. So this will be sealed and hopefully the problem won't come back again. All right, can we go up top and look inside? We can indeed. All right, so is this something that normally happens? I mean, is this something that uh, people would have to have done? Um, it's, it's, normal is not the right word. Uh, it does happen um, on, on various occasions and it's probably more common than people think. Um, but the normal seepage into the, the, the balsa core or the core of the sandwich doesn't normally cause many problems. But in this case, it could cause problems because it could, de it could delaminate the exterior of the boat. So um, these problems are normally only picked up when a boat is carried out with a survey or bought with a survey by a surveyor and he's picked it up in this instance so that's why this is being done. And how does the surveyor know that this, that this is rotten, that the balsa wood on the inside is rotten? He has, a, he has a moisture meter which he puts on the hull which measures the amount of moisture in the fiberglass and anything behind it. So that's how he tells with the, if the boat has osmosis or a high humidity and uh, where it's going from there. Esto es agua. Ah, oh, sí. Está sí. cayendo agua. Aquí se puede ver que está todo mojado.
Este no es su color. ¿Se agua? Sí. Sí. So I just saw Antonio taking off the inner shell of the fiberglass to expose the balsa wood that's been exposed to the yeah. moisture and damage. Now it's take coming off in pieces. Are you going to use those same pieces to go on or are you going to fabricate some new fiberglass? We'll probably use the same pieces to go back in and we'll, we'll bond them together with epoxy tape, right? epoxy resin and tape. But if there's too many, we'll probably just relaminate the hole inside with new cloth. Okay, now what about the balsa wood? Are you going to just cut a sheet to go into the shape no, or how does that we, work? We've cut, we've cut strips of balsa wood so that we can get them in, in place correctly and then we'll bond those in. Okay, so what we've actually achieved this morning, or today, is that we've uh, cleaned out all the old uh, foam and uh, uh, filling in the, in, the, in the sandwich areas that were uh, saturated, um, cleaned them up, and we've actually put new bolster in there uh, with polyester uh, bonding paste, which is a strength and fiberglass paste, um, and that's bonded those pieces of bolster onto the hull. And, and we've filled in around the edge and we've made a particularly strong area where the bolts go through um, and that's uh, that's what we've done so far when that dries which will be tomorrow we'll sand it back and we'll start putting the uh, fiberglass on top of it and then we'll be applying um, this glass resin glass cloth uh, with a, a, a resin to bond it to the, the fi to the um, balsa um, and then we'll be feathering at the edges so that it bonds in with the rest of the hull and provides a good firm base for the sandwich um, and that should be it. I'm just wetting out the first ply of the overlay over the uh, core material. All right so you're basically sealing in the new balsa wood yeah? Yeah. yeah. And how long is that going to have to dry until you start doing the fiberglass? This is the fiberglass. Oh, that is the fiberglass. This is the fiberglass, yeah. This is the overlay of the, uh, the core material. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so that there's already that kind of that thin mesh sheet that's on yeah, there. Yeah, this is it, yeah. This oh, okay, is it. and then you're applying that over the top of it. Yeah, polyester. Right? All right. <laughs> so this is the glass. Yeah, I'm fine, Dennis. How many layers of that goes on there? There's two layers going on there. Two layers, okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, what we're going to do now is uh, we'll wait for the, uh, the, the the resin to go off inside there. Then we'll tidy it up and smooth any rough edges. And then we'll apply some primer paint over the top just to seal it in and make it look okay. All right, so now that we've got the inside just about finished, and um, this is the old, this is the old uh, where it was attached to, which yeah. created the moisture problem in the first place. Are you going to use these same holes, or what, what's the plan? No, because the, the old system was new bolts going through here and the pull was a, 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 a different angle so this was causing stress on on the on the gel coat and the and the u-bolts so what we're going to do is we're going to put a different sort of pad eye on there which will have a better angle to pull at so it won't cause stressing we're also going to put a nice stainless steel plate under there to protect the hull and a stainless steel reinforcement plate on the inside so this boat will never leak again there all right and this is just another day at casablanca yacht services exactly all right